Hello friends and welcome. Today I'm going to show you my entire Harry Potter book collection. Let me tell you, I own a lot of Harry Potter books. I've counted them and I think I'm at 38 or 39. I could have missed one somewhere. And that's mostly because it's not just about the Harry Potter books. I mean, there's so much more to this Wizarding World universe than just Harry Potter. I mean, the story of Harry Potter is great and yes, I have multiple editions, but still there's so much more and that's why I own so many books. I've got an edition from Mina Lima from the house of Mina Lima in London. I have got some wonderful, amazing book replicas by Alarm 18 and of course some special editions with beautiful magical book covers. I have so many gorgeous Harry Potter books. <sighs> I'm going to show you each of these books. We'll do a mini flip through and while I'm doing that I will share some information about the book or I bought it, stuff like that and you guys get an impression of what the book looks like so you can decide for yourself if you want to buy it, if it's still available because some of these books are pretty old. And that's it, that's what we're going to do today. So if you like these kind of videos then don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna show you guys my normal edition books in chronological order of when I got them or purchased them. So the first set I ever got is in Dutch because I live in the Netherlands and Dutch is my language. And I think I was around 11 or 12 years old. I think the Dutch set has really unique book covers and I love that they all look very different. To give you an impression of my language, I will read the Dutch titles. Harry Potter and the Steen der Wijze, Harry Potter and the Geheime Kamer, Harry Potter and the Gevangenen van Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Vuurbeker, Harry Potter and the Order van the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Halfblood Prince, Harry Potter and the Relieke van de Dood. Next up is my English edition set and these are by Bloomsbury bought them in 2019 I think and I just love these book covers they are so colorful and I love the art style all right and I left some of the bookmarks on the books because I think that looks really cute and they fit the theme of the book Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. These next books, you might not say it when you look at them, are the American editions, but with different book covers. So these book covers were released by Accio Box and were made by Danny from the Wizarding Workshop. And these book covers only fit on the American Harry Potter book. So that's the reason why I ordered the American edition. You can see that I only have five. That was an intentional choice because I didn't really like the sixth and seventh book cover that much. So I decided because these were pricey enough to just get the first five. In year four, we learn all about potent portals, otherworldly travels. And then last but certainly not least, year five, a crystal clear prophecies for the Amateur Oracle, and this is actually my favorite magical book cover for Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Next up is this gorgeous edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This is created by Mina Lima, the house of Mina Lima, which is a shop in London, and it is owned by Eduardo Lima and Nymphadora Mina. These are true wizards and great artists. They have created almost every paper replica for Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast, and they do a lot of beautiful artwork. As you can see, this book has a lot of artwork inside and interactive pages. If you are like me and reread the books every year, then this is definitely a new reading experience. I made an entire video of this book with some of my favorite pages, so if you're interested in that, I will leave that video up in the info cards. Next is Harry Potter and the Vervloekte Kind, and you might know it as Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. 
This is a special first edition that I got from my boyfriend for my birthday. As you can see, this is not a normal book. It is actually a script because it was written as a play. I mean, it's not up there with the original Harry Potter books, but it is quite enjoyable. And then I had another birthday and my brother actually bought me a ticket to the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child play in London. So we went to London for three days and we visited Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And of course I had to get a souvenir, so I bought this book where you can see part one and two of the play. And some other information, and at the back you can see the theater. Harry Potter film wizardry. This is probably one of my favorite books because it is just so elaborate and has so many cool details about the movies. It's really fun to watch the movie and then read this book because it just tells you so much more about how they filmed it and a lot of cool details that you would have never known if you would just watch the movies. There's even a whole part about the Yule Ball and a Yule Ball invitation. Ugh, Umbridge. An entire segment about Weasley's wizard wheezes. And at the back you can find a film wizardry photo album with some exclusive photos on sets. This next one is Hogwarts, a movie scrapbook. So I bought this at the studio tour and this is actually a series. So there are more movie scrapbooks. I only got this one because it's Hogwarts and you just have to have one of Hogwarts. What I really like about these books is that it actually feels like a scrapbook. There's a lot of stuff in them. And just bits and bobs of information. I do have to say though that these books don't really add anything if you already have the bigger books and you're quite the Harry Potter fan. But I mean, hey, we're collecting things so I just had to buy one of these movie scrapbooks. Ooh, this is a good one. This is Honey Dukes, A Scratch and Sniff Adventure. So I never heard of this book until I got it in one of my magical suitcase boxes. If you haven't seen one of those unboxings, go check them out. They are super, super fun. I will leave one of them up in the info cards. And I mean, look how cute this looks. It has the chocolate frogs and the sherbet lemons. And if you've ever wondered how they smell, just scratch this book and sniff. This is a very special one. This is the Harry Potter official exhibition guide. This was an exhibition that was for, I think, half a year in our country, in the middle of the Netherlands, in a city called Utrecht. And there you could just visit all the props from the Harry Potter movies. They even rebuilt a part of the Forbidden Forest. It was like a mini Warner Brothers studio tour in your own country. And now that I think of it, again, this was gifted to me by my boyfriend. He actually bought us tickets to the Harry Potter exhibition. He is a good boyfriend, isn't he? <laughs> and I mean, this was just a great, great experience and I absolutely loved every minute of it. And then two years later, we decided to visit the actual Warner Brothers studio tour near London in Leavesden. And that was such an amazing experience. I've been there twice now and twice I just, I was blown away. I just love being there. It is truly magical and I cried both times. <laughs> And of course, I had to do some shopping, and one of the things that I bought is this new edition of The Making of Harry Potter. So this is the official guide of the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. 
it's just something to relive the studio tour and gives you information about the location items you have seen. Next up are these three books within the book, because these books can be found in the Hogwarts library and are talked about in the story of Harry Potter. So this is kind of a way to delve deeper into the Wizarding Worlds. These books come in various editions and I especially like this one because it's just really colorful and I got this from two friends of mine on my birthday. First up is The Tales of Beetle the Bard. This book contains some magical fairy tales with a message and after each story there are notes from Dumbledore. I recently listened to this book on Audible and I really really enjoyed it. Next up is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and this is of course written by Newt Scamander and I have to admit I haven't opened this book yet or yeah I did as you can see but I haven't read it yet. I would love to read it someday. I did, however, finally watch the first movie and absolutely loved it. And the last book in the set is Quidditch Through the Ages. I just love that there are little drawings in this book and it is just very interesting to read. And it just makes me feel like an actual student at Hogwarts. The next book I'm going to show you is Harry Potter, A Journey Through a History of Magic. And this book was published by the British Library on the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter. And this is one of those books that combines facts with fiction. And in between you get some drafts from the author herself. And you learn more about the Wizarding World, for instance, that mandrakes are real and that Nicholas Flamel actually existed. There's just a lot of beautiful illustrations in this book and I think it is a must read if you want to know and learn more about the Wizarding World and the use of magic through the ages. Next up is a very similar book. It is called Harry Potter, A History of Magic. And this is just the more elaborate version. I kind of made a mistake there because I thought these were different books, but then I found out that A Journey is kind of the summarized version of this one, Harry Potter, A History of Magic. Again, this is published by the British Library. Nonetheless, I am really happy that I bought this book because look at those illustrations. You can just tell that this book was published by a museum. It just has that look. I have yet to read this book, but as you can see, some of the pages are the same as in A Journey Through a History of Magic. Ooh, next up are my Harry Potter book replicas. And these are probably my most prized possession when it comes to my Harry Potter book collection. First is advanced potion making and this just has this old feel to it. So this is of course to represent the book that Harry finds with notes from the Half-Blood Prince. I think this is probably my favorite Hogwarts A History by Matilda Bagshot or should I say Alarm 18. He is a true wizard when it comes to book replicas. There's gold foiling, there's a red ribbon, and it is just a beautiful font and beautiful illustrations. This entire book is dedicated to Hogwarts, the founders, the ground, the castle itself. It's just full of information and everything you need to know about Hogwarts. And then we have the essential defense against the dark arts. Yeah, this is a junker. 
And believe it or not, but this book has text in it. Every page contains text. Again, this is created by Alarm18. I don't know how he does it. I don't know where he gets his information from. It probably took him a whole year to figure out this book, but oh my gosh, it is so elaborate. You can find every spell in here. I have this idea for a video that I'm going to read this book and Hogwarts a History and then take two exams just to see if I can reproduce the information so I can feel like a student at Hogwarts. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see that. These next four books are for true Wizarding World fans. These go into detail of characters, artifacts, magical places, and creatures. First up is the character Vault, and I mean just look at that cover. I would have bought this book for the cover alone, but inside is so much art and photos from the movie, so of course I have to show you guys the Golden Trio. But literally everyone is in this book, even Umbridge. The Malfoys, and let's end on a positive note, the Weasleys. Next is the Artifact Vault, and I probably should have mentioned this at the first book, but these are all based on the movie, so you can see all the artifacts that are used in the movies and how they were created. There's a lot of facts in this book, and I personally think it is so interesting to learn more about how they made this. There's an entire section on Weasley's Wizard Weezes. And of course the Horcruxes. Magical places from the films. Hogwarts, Diagon Alley, and beyond. That reminds me of Toy Story <laughs> to Infinity and Beyond. So again, this book is filled with beautiful photos and illustrations of the films and every location. Ministry of Magic, Wizarding Homes, just a gorgeous book. And the final book in this set is The Creature Faults. This was my most recent purchase because I really, really wanted to complete this set. So besides flipping through the pages for this video, I didn't really take a good look at this book. But as you can see, again, a lot of photos, illustrations, and facts about every creature in the Harry Potter movies. They even dedicated two pages to Pigwidgeon.
And that was it guys, every Harry Potter book I own at the moment. I should say that because I buy a lot of books. I hope I've shown you guys some new books and inspired you to dive deeper into the worsening world. I also hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and let's stay in touch.